the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Everybody's all stretched out. Now they're ready to butt heads. The Big Ten about to kick off. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Cedar River Spartan Stadium has a beautiful view of nature at its best. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. to kick this one off and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game he's to the 20 he's out to the 30 and he has it on the corner inside the 30 he's all the way home touchdown Big time return for that young man. And he converts the extra point. the four the Hoosiers have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader we found that out this week talking to him we sure did Brad it was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game finding out that he called a players only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game and when you have that kind of leadership you get a real chance to be able to go on the road and win you never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that Good effort by the defender. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. Tipped. Nice job there to bring up a fourth down. Pretty good throw here by the quarterback, but he couldn't quite get it in there. That was a nice job of the defense. Coker is back awaiting the punt. Well covered by the kicking team. He didn't go anywhere. What I like about this play is that the guys stayed in their lanes and didn't allow the big play. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Michigan State is up by a touchdown. Tackled after a decent pickup. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Gets out to around the 32. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. Thank you. 
from the 33 yard line. Second down. He's on the run. Decides to slide. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Clipping. Offense. That penalty will move him back Still a bit. Yeah, down. and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Now it's second and long after the penalty. hit out of bounds right around the 24 yard line what a throw for a big game that is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch so it's third down and they've got about two yards to go four down, four down. Michigan State up seven points Tackle made around the 26-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. Michigan State is hoping to make this a two-score game. It's up, looks long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 10 0, Michigan State. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Taken from the three yard line. Across the 30. Tackle made to the 38 yard line. Michigan State's defense looks like it's ready to feed off this crowd all game long. It's like having an extra player out there. It sure is, Brad. They are off to a great start in that opening series. Let's see how they play here. Again, trying to just set the tone here early in this game on this next series. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. He decides to run with it. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. Good yardage there on the scramble. Well, you have to credit the quarterback here. He's not the most fleet-footed guy on the field, but notice how he has the awareness and the composure to know when to tuck it and go. And as a result, he comes up with a big play. And down he goes at about the 33-yard line. Now the defense looked a little sluggish there, and they can do better than that. Play fake, looking to run. And they make the stop at the 22-yard line. First down. Hey, 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 Blue 19! Blue 19! Quick throw. Brought down around the 14-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Four down, four down. Hey, Mike Ford, Mike Ford. Down, check, check. Right line, right line. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. The Hoosiers, wide receiver. We hope can make a comeback, get back in this ball game. Went out with that injury a little bit earlier. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. He's going to try and scramble, and they got him. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's scrambling. 
They'll bring him down around the one yard line. Scrambling around. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 61-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So our score, 10-7. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. Michigan State is up a field goal. He's taken down at the 32. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 32. I got you, punk. We've played one. The Spartans lead 10-7. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Makes it out to about the 40. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Gains his way to the 49 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. And he's taken down at the 50-yard line. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. He's got it with room to run. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Michigan State holds a field goal lead. They run it left. Tackle at the 40. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That'll bring up fourth and one. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. He makes it to the 38-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. the 36 gain of two yards that makes it second and eight from the 36 yard line it's second down the quarterback in the gun empty backfield five wide receivers in the formation quick throw out to the receiver incomplete Here's play number 10 on the drive. Three down, three down. Watch 20, steal that, steal that, steal that. Now he's scrambling. 
And they push him out right around the 26-yard line. And that is going to be enough for the first. You and I talked about him earlier in the game. What impressed me there is he knew exactly where he needed to go to get the first down the whole time. First and 10. Ball on the 26. Tackle made at the 10-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Michigan State has a three-point lead. He's tackled at the three. Reed gains seven yards with a catch there. The Spartans taking their first time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Defense and their short yardage packing. And he hits him hard at the two-yard line. This is the 14th play of the drive. Touchdown, Michigan State. He makes the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. North Texas doing battle in Denton. And for Texas Tech, they reach the end zone with an aerial strike. And for Gordon, he's caught one for a touchdown. Texas Tech leads it 7-0 early in the first. Ten-point game here, Reese, 17-7. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Fry takes it from the six. Tackle at the 24-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. He lets it fly. Doesn't get there. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. Doty to punt. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Quick strike to the receiver, and he tackles him hard at the 37. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37. Quick pass. And down he goes at the 19-yard line. You know, having a playmaker at tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. The five. Touchdown. 
first down, Spartans. So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for one to open, and then he hits it. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a short three-play, 52-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Owens looks ready to kick this one off. And he'll return this one from the seven. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. Indiana's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen. But, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. No one open, so he's going to run. Slides down. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brent, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. We've got a first and 10. Ball in the 49. He's at the 40. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 35. Indiana will have one timeout remaining. Throws it in a hurry. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 22-yard line. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. He's in trouble. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Hoosiers. Defense let the quarterback scramble in for the score. The defense had the offense beat there initially. It took a great run to get that in. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 71-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. Burgess has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He'll return it from the six. The Spartans are just cruising through this first half for a really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. They got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25, and that'll do it for the first half. Michigan State's got a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver.
All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 23. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They come out in a five-wide set. They hook up over the middle. Brought down at the 39. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wide outs. They'll bring him down around the 50-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. Side right, side right. Three down, three down. Hey, go on, Mike 40, Mike 40. Check, check. Oklahoma. Hey, alert three, alert three. Cut. Cut. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Loss of about two. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 48-yard line. He's taken down at about the 49. Tackle there in space. That makes it first and ten. He makes his way to about the twenty two. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. on the run. Quarterback's going to run it and he's got room to work. Huge play and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. He's under some heat. Decides to take it himself and he's got it. Touchdown. Touchdown. He didn't see anyone open, so he just took it in himself. This quarterback is fearless, and the defense needs to either spy him or walk the safeties up when they've got the ball down near the goal line. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 79-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. The score now, 24-21. They line up to kick this one away. Coker from the six. Tackle made the 36-yard line. Indiana's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Michigan State is up by three. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for him. From their own 41 yard line, it's second down. Nice 
Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. Not over here. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Mike 42, Mike 42. There you go, there you go. And he's level at the 46. No game. Fourth down. Vogel is back deep to return. He takes it in at the 14. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. That's good for a game of nine yards. That brings up second and nine. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Fires it out. He's hit and taken down. Two yards shy of the sticks. Gains his way to the 39 yard line. Gain of eight on the play. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 40's Mike, 40's Mike. Check, 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 check. He tackles him for a loss. So the halfback loses about two on the run. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. He's at midfield. Makes it to the 41. That's a game of 22 on the run. First and ten. Again with the runs. Knocked out of bounds. Round the 40 yard line. That brings us second and nine. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And he's tackled at the 32. Jefferson on the tackle at the 32-yard line. And folks, it's neck and neck as we head to the final quarter of play. Michigan State's got a three-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. out to his receiver and he's taken down around the 19 yard line completes it but he can't shake the defense Second and four. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's tackled at the five yard line. Call it a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and goal. Blue 
He lets it go. They're at the five. It's second down. Can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. And he converts the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. In the Big 12, they spread you out and pitch that magic beam everywhere. The Owls hammer that running game and score a touchdown. Rice leads it, 7-0. All right, Reese, back to our game. Burgess has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Taken at the five. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle at the 41. down 10 to go ball on the 41 yard line gets to about the 44 yard line to the ground. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball and it comes out a little wobbly. Third down now and they need to get it inside the 49. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time he should just throw it away out of bounds. Owens is waiting for the snap. Gets out to about the 31. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Tackled after a decent pickup. Indiana is up four. Gets out to around the 48. Call it a gain of 10 yards. First down. run up the gut. That's a game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Good for a game of six yards. That makes it first and ten. ten. pass and down he goes at the 38 
That brings up second and nine. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. That's a great stop by the All-American. This guy is such a great player, Brad. When we see this guy at the award show at the end of the year, we're going to have to give him an extra suitcase to bring home all of his awards. Steps up, and he's sacked for a loss. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. Doty to punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Steps out of bounds around the 39-yard line. That brings him second and five. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. Mike's 42. Mike's 42. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. First down. Scrambling around. They bring him down. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. And that's what happened there. From their own 44 yard line. Second down. He delivers. Got him again. Brought down around the 14 yard line. We have less than a minute to go. a great tackle at the two-yard line. Touchdown! And now they're winning this ball game.
They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 29. Indiana's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. And they're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 31. The Hoosiers will use their first time out of the half. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 31. He's on the run. Indiana's going to have to use their second time out of the half. So the quarterback picks up about eight on the scramble. Throws it deep. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Defense and their short yardage package. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it first and ten. He's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. It's the senior corner who nails the quarterback for the sack. Nice call here, but they might want to wait a while before going back to it again. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 31-28, Spartan. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Without question, this is a tough loss for these players. Indiana played a great game, and they should be proud. But I was not impressed with the way they worked the clock towards the end of the game. Wiser play calling and better clock management, in my opinion, would have made a difference in this game. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.